Hello, hello everybody. Andrea Majewski here with Dental L. So you have clicked this video because you are curious about the startup cost to run your own dental hygiene business. So exciting for you, you know, I mean, when I was a student, I didn't even think of owning my own dental hygiene business one day. Honestly, I didn't even think of it because I, it was just so far off that I just didn't think of it. Um, but there were a lot of people in my class that was like, oh my God, like that is definitely something that I want to do. I thought, yeah, no, I kind of want to get my skills right first. I don't want to spend money, you know, that, that kind of thing. Well, I'm doing it now. I'm super pumped. I can't wait because I want to do dentistry differently. I want people to enjoy getting their teeth cleaned. I'm lighter handed from what I'm told. So people aren't in pain after they have their teeth cleaned with me. Even if they haven't been in in 10 years, it might take three, three appointments, but they won't be in pain because I take my time. I'm not causing pain, you know, just I really want to offer a different experience for people, have it be less expensive. And I come to them because it's 2018. We are all about convenience. If, if everything could come to me, oh my God, I would love that so much. You have no idea. So I'm super excited. But let's talk about expenses. I'm going to be sick because I have to go and reapply for a bigger loan, just FYI, because I miscalculated some very big expenses. But you know what? It's because they don't give prices online. I don't know why, but they don't. So I just kind of guessed. I was pretty close, but still, I need to apply for a bigger loan, which makes me sad. So, but I'm doing it and I'm super excited for it. So let me just go over quickly the costs. Um, if you guys are curious though to learn more, I'm talking about everything. I am being very transparent in my course, Dental L RDH. There is a separate module for mobile dental hygiene. So if you want to start your own business, so Dental L RDH, um, I can leave the link for you on the bottom. It is a full course where I help dental hygienists with everything they need to know. So especially if you are a new dental hygienist, or if it's been a while since you've been, been practicing because you have kids or whatever, I offer everything. I talk about perio appointments. I talk about how to book appointments. I just, I talk about everything. You name it, I talk about it. Um, I will put the link for you on the bottom here, but my newest module free of charge is mobile dental hygiene, where I'm going through week by week what I'm doing, the issues I've had, the epic business fails that I've had, I'm going through everything. So have a look. But just a quick recap. So a sterilizer. So a statum sterilizer is $8,000. Does not include tax, by the way. A piezo scaler, I love a piezo. I prefer piezos over the ultrasonic, is about $4,200, not including tax. The handpiece that I've been looking at, the new Pro Freedom handpiece, is about, let's just say $1,700. I need that to polish, so you know. The mobile unit that I will be getting with the you know, air water suction is about $6,000. Um, the portable chair for my patients is about $2,000. The intraoral camera, which I was hoping to have, but I'm going to wait because it's just too expensive, is about $5,000, well, about $4,500 but that doesn't include tax, right? And that doesn't include masks, bibs, spore testing that I need. Isn't that crazy, you guys? Crazy, crazy. But to buy things, to get the right, sorry, my dogs are barking, let me see why. There's nobody there. To get the right equipment, you've got to spend the money. I'm not going to buy a sterilizer from China for $600, I'm sorry. I would save a bloody fortune, but it's probably going to break down as soon as I start to use it. Plus, they're not approved. They're just not approved, so you can't do it, right? Yeah, those are the expenses. I talk about it more inside my course. I don't want to bore you guys if you're not interested. But yeah, I have an appointment with the bank this afternoon to up my loan. I took out a $20,000 small business loan. Now I need $30,000. So if you want your teeth claimed, I would love to meet you guys. In fact, I think it would be awesome if I could meet a lot of my YouTube people because you guys are awesome. Thank you so much for all of your comments. If you live in the Kitchener, Ontario, Canada area, let me know. I would love to come and just talk about this whole thing while I'm cleaning your teeth. I, I will need the money, okay? So um, tell everybody you know that I'm the best dental hygienist out there and I give the best cleanings, okay? Thank you guys.
So yeah, those are my expenses. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the next one.